In this video, we'll look at the equation for cobalt sulfate, cobalt 2 sulfate in water. That's COSO4 plus H2O. So we have our cobalt 2 sulfate here, and it's a solid. So we're going to put a little S after that. We're going to put it in liquid water, and we want to know what happens. So cobalt's a metal, and then this sulfate, SO4, sulfate ion, that's a group of nonmetals. So this should be an ionic compound, and often they're soluble in water. But we should check the solubility rules here. So we're looking for either the cobalt 2, CO2+, plus, or the sulfate ion. So we go down, and here it says most sulfates are soluble in water, with some exceptions. Cobalt, that's not in our list of exceptions, so this is going to be soluble in water. It's going to break apart into its ions, dissociate into its ions. The sulfate ion, the whole thing is always 2 minus. Good one to remember. That means the cobalt here has to be 2 plus. So we have our cobalt 2 ion, and then we'll have our sulfate ion. Since both of these are dissolved in water, let's put a little AQ after them for aqueous, dissolved in water. And this is the equation for cobalt 2 sulfate plus water. Sometimes you'll see the water placed above the arrow here. So that's another way to write the equation for COSO4 plus H2O. And occasionally you'll see the water written again in the products. But since we have aqueous, we're saying that each of these is dissolved in water, so it's a bit redundant. But that's it. This is the equation for cobalt 2 sulfate plus water, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.